Well, here we are in the wood shop. This is a video introducing you to the quality workmanship and space age materials that our Nomad yurts are made with. Our yurts are sold around the world, and we've built our business on manufacturing the best product and providing the best customer service. The process from ordering to setup will be easier than you could have imagined. This is truly a custom handmade, one at a time work of art designed to give you years of enjoyment and service. Material made of? What is it? It's a vinyl product. Um, I'm not actually certain what the chemical makeup of it is. Uh, I've been doing industrial sewing for about 15 years, and this is the absolute most hardcore fabric I've ever worked on. Um, I've used sea tarps and uh, uh, different kinds of skate bottom materials, and this stuff definitely takes the cake. I've actually cut a one inch wide strip of it and did pull-ups on that bar over there with a one-inch wide strip. Wow. And I'm darn close to 300 pounds. Wow. That's uh, pretty amazing. So this will be, we talk about these welded seams. And as you can see, there's a welded seam here. That's done at the factory uh, where they create the Duralast. It's done with a microwave welder, leak, uh, leak and tear proof. All the tops, the actual surface area of the top is actually a welded seam, not a sewn seam, so there's absolutely no risk of a leak. And it will not come undone. Uh, this is the awning piece that goes over the front door I'm getting ready to attach right now process on that one. This one is sewn with a double stitcher. As it's a heavy traffic, usually gets a lot of use and abuse, snow falling down and people moving things in and out of the yurts. We don't have any patterns um, for the big stuff. It's all cut out by measurements. And uh, all the measurements are based on the specifics of what the customer order, as all of our yurts are made to order. Um, so depending on what size of door they want, how many doors they want, we have to modify um, how we cut the fabric and what the dimensions of those pieces are. So it's kind of hard to have any, any stock patterns for anything as each yurt is unique and one of a kind. So this I'm framing up the outside edge. It keeps the rain dripping on the outboard side of the wood so make sure nothing comes running in. This seam right here, this double stitch that I'm doing on the top, it's a reinforcing top, uh, it's called a reinforcing top stitch. What it does is it adds two more lines of our stitching, so it's like a reinforcement to the standard single stitch we do first. And then it also creates a drip edge as rain comes down the roof. Instead of pooling up on top or resting or anything, it'll just run right off this edge right here. And then, so what I'm doing now is just continuing that seam to reinforce the tops, uh, to reinforce the awning piece that goes over the door. At this stage, we also add on the underside a six inch strip to close the gap on the underside above the door frame so that it is nice, solid, and we got no wind or drafts or any kind of snow or rain leaking in. stuff coming together here so this is where we go ahead and reinforce 
a lot of our seams where things come together. And we, This is sort of an organic product that's always evolving and we're always trying to perfect our technique. This has one of our newly redesigned awnings on it actually that, um, well, if you notice, it's getting a little narrower here than it was where we started. We've started cutting these to fit the curvature of the door frames a little better so that it's a better aesthetic, but it also helps give some body to the actual awning piece to help the rain run a little more and, and keep it from sagging a little bit. Just one more, how we're always trying to do our, do better than our best, always trying to perfect things. And Uh, so what I was just sewing, this is the front door opening of a 20-foot uh, diameter yurt. Uh, we have our the rim coming in. This is the top surface of the wall. This is our awning piece. As you can see, they're all joined together here with a nice weather stripping to go over the door to lock everything down. Um, we reinforce all the edges where many layers of material come together. This one is our new style that we're um, always trying to develop and do the best we absolutely can. Um, so this this uh, awning piece shows is a good example uh, as it's a recent change we just made where we started actually cutting a great deal of curve into these awning pieces here so that they match the radius of the door to just give this a little more body as it's up over the front door of your home or your shop or your office or your store or, or any of those things, if you, whatever you've chosen to use your yurt as, and it just gives it a better aesthetic. And I think it's a good example of how we're all, you know, no two yurts are alike. We're always refining things and just making them go better and look nicer and be more functional, really, to just always, you know, stay on the top of our game. Um, to provide the absolute best quality product we can, we can manage to scrape together. So what do you think about the string? What is the string? This is a bonded polyester thread. It's a 207 weight. Um, this is what I use for any industrial application. Um, this is used in uh, uh, the exact same thread used in the, in the Nomar brailler bag. So if it's good enough to hold a thousand pounds of salmon for a commercial fisherman, it, it's, it's good enough to hold my house together. Uh, the material is called Duralast. It's used for swimming pool liners. It's used for flat roofing on uh, standard construction buildings in high snow climates. Uh, our tops are guaranteed not to leak for 15 years. You can see we've got welded seams. These come from the factory, the manufacturer of the material. It's done with a microwave welder, uh, so absolutely no leaks. It actually bonds those two into one piece of material. All the seams on the actual top are a welded seam. Again, I've been doing industrial sewing for close to 15 years, and uh, this is the absolute toughest material I've ever worked with. Absolutely uh, mildew resistant, UV resistant. Um, um, this is an amazing, amazing fabric, and being in the industrial sewing uh, community as long as I have in Alaska, in Homer, Alaska, with the industrial fishing community, the Coast Guard vessels, uh, some of the, the uh, Alaska Fish and Game applications, stuff I've made for them. I see this fabric being far surpassing any other fabric out there for any of that outdoor industrial application. This is Hannah. She's working in the insulation shop. She's sewing the inside cover on the polyfill here inside this yurt that's been made into a shop space. Stay tuned for more videos about Nomad Shelter Yurts and their construction, along with interviews with the staff and the story of how the business came into fruition.